Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, this is Moy Garcia and I have another Bible review for you here. We got something really, really neat. This is a new King James version of the Bible sent out to me by Thomas Nelson for an honest review and this is the interleaved Bible journal edition. Blank pages inserted between each page of scripture are optimally suited to notes and journaling. This edition is the Flax cloth bound hardcover and uh, I want to show you some of the features include exclusive NKJV comfort print typeface, clear and readable nine point type, double column scripture text, words of Christ are in red, and a blank page inserted between each page of scripture. It's a Smith's own binding for durability and it comes with two satin ribbon markers. This Bible is guaranteed for life. It retails for around $49.99, but you can get it for much less in some of the online bookstores. I will put some direct links in the description box for your convenience. So let's take a look at this. This is a very nice cover. I like it. You can really feel the cloth. It's, it's so prominent. On the spine we got Holy Bible interleaved edition in white stamping. The New King James logo and Thomas Nelson logo as well. It comes as, a, as we read with two ribbon markers, one in a dark red and this one is a very dark gold, seems to be. Here's the presentation page. A Holy Bible and as you can see the paper is a cream color. Let's take a look. This is the difference between white paper and the cream paper of this edition. And here we have a table of contents. This is indeed the New King James Interleaved Bible Journal edition. And this was printed in January 2021, so it seems. Here's a table of abbreviations, how to use the NKJV Interlead Bible by Dr. Philip Nation. I'll leave this here in case you would like to have a look and, and pause the video and you can read it. We got the preface for the new King James Version. And we got here the Old Testament. Very classy. So here we go. A two column formatting in a paragraph style. It's very simple, straight to the point, black lettering, bold book names, and then we got just the plain text right below. There's no cross-referencing because you are supposed to be doing that yourself. And some of the translator notes down the foot of the page. It doesn't come with the full translator notes, which is something I will have loved to have in this edition. So here we go. This is the main attraction, if you will of this Bible, which is a full blank page next to the text. We have this one here, text, have text here, and then we have another blank page for annotations. You can draw pictures regarding the text or simply use it as a space for notes, um, for teachings, preachings, your own devotionals, prayers, etc, etc, you name it. And this is going to be true, as you can see, on every page of the Bible. This paper is pretty thick, which is great for the purpose of note-taking and drawing. If we go to the New Testament, we're going to find that this is a red letter edition, as we can see right here in the book of Matthew. The red is very rich, dark enough not to hurt your eyes or to cause some type of difficulties while reading and uh, it's pretty consistent throughout this Bible and at the very end we simply have another page and a note regarding the type which is done by 2K Denmark commissioned by Thomas Nelson exclusively for the new King James version of the Bible and that's it, that's all it is. It's simple and plain, an interleaved edition 
for note taking or journaling or drawing, you name it. The usage is up to you. The tool is right here and I think is a great addition. Thanks to Thomas Nelson for thinking of making this. Another thing that we'd like to mention is that this text is line match, which means that each line is going to match a line on the other side of the paper, helping its readability, even though there's not a lot of ghosting. You can still see a little bit, but that is normal to me. Let's take a look at the measurements of this Bible. That's 24 centimeters tall by 16 and a half wide by 5.3 centimeters thick. So it's a mid-sized Bible. It's not small. It's not huge either. It's a bit thick. But that's because we got an extra page for every page of text. So you kind of have two Bibles in one right here. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, please, if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.